back to joy practicing our fifth bow out. Following up on our discussion last time about the thumb, I thought today we would talk about the Alberti base because a lot of the principles that we've discussed in the previous episode applies here as well. This seemingly simple configuration is actually not that easy to play well. One can often feel stuck and sound heavy instead of fluid and in motion. An important thing to remember when you come across patterns that repeat, such as the Alberti bass, is to renew your relationship with the keyboard each and every time, meaning that you don't come back to where you came from, you constantly move to a different spot. that make up this passage. The exercise I showed you last time of taking one voice with another hand is good to point this out. How you group it determines how it sounds. Doing it this way is definitely different than this. short and staccato and with an in and upward movement. If we break this down further, this grouping consists of two smaller movements, F sharp to D sharp and F sharp to D. It's like a seesaw with the F sharp being your center. Remember going in before the thumb and going out. Even though they're all the same value, they don't have to be played the same way. Take Impressionism and Pointillism as a reference, which uses dots and brush strokes to suggest a figure, an object, or a scenery. In piano playing, you are creating an impression of a long, continuous line by using little dots of notes. It's an active participation of the ears rather than the fingers. The fingers are like the delivery guy that delivers your package. They're essential, but they're not the main focus. I can't stress how important it is to keep renewing your relationship with the keyboard each and every time. Remember that the piano is a percussive instrument and this is one of the ways that you're going to make it sound fluid. Have a clear and organized patterns and directions in which your arms and hands will move through.
Thank you for watching. Tune in next time when we'll discuss about practicing slow. If you have any comments or suggestions or passages that you're having problems with and would like to be discussed, email me at joyofpracticing at gmail.com. Until next time.